Hello friends, welcome back to Kids Life. I'm Pastor Justin. I am so glad that you are joining me for a little bit this morning. We have been looking at the Ten Commandments in this month of October, and we've already done the first four. And today we're going to do Commandments 5, 6, and 7. So let's look at what those are real quick, and we'll talk about them, and then we'll watch a couple of videos together, and we'll have some fun. Okay, sound good? All right, the commandment number five that God gave to his people is this. Obey your parents, honor your parents, be good to them. When they ask you to do something, you do it. So we want to honor our parents. Number six is don't kill, don't hurt anybody, don't hurt anything God made every person and every creature. And so we want to be kind and not hurt people or hurt animals. And then number seven is parents should stay in love. It works best when parents are together and they stay in love. Then families work at their best. So God gave all the people of the world these 10 commandments. And the three that we're looking at today are be good listeners to moms and dads. Don't hurt anybody or any animals. And parents should stay in love. Now, we've got a short video to watch with some friends that are going to help explain those a little bit better. So let's check it out. Oh, hey there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow Ow! TV. Welcome! Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hey there, everyone. Well, I've got some bad news. Today I got hurt. I got hurt real bad. And the worst part is, it was done by my own brother. Can you believe it? We got into a little argument and then BAM! He slapped me. I wish I could say this is the first time my brothers has caused me any type of pain. <laughs> so yeah, it's happened a few times. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm angry about it. And as far as I can see, I only have two options. One, I could spend thousands of dollars on multiple classes teaching me the art of self-defense. That way I can show my dominance over my brother and anyone else who may pose a threat to my safety and hurt them the way they hurt me. Or option number two, turn the other cheek. I forgive my brother because at the end of the day, he is my brother and I shall love him. So, I will choose to fight him. First, I would like to demonstrate my strength. Next, I will demonstrate my flexibility. Ah. Next, I will demonstrate my focus. Huh, ice cream? Finally, I will demonstrate my strength of my willpower. In this bag, I have placed a box of Twinkies. They are my favorite treat, and it's almost impossible for me not to eat them. But no matter how long, I must sit here and not eat them. Oh, I already ate them. <laughs> DJ! Carl! What's up, man? Not a lot's happening, except now I've dedicated the rest of my life to destroying my brother and training my body to be a lethal weapon and a danger to anyone who comes in contact with. So, the normal. Okay, so do you want to talk about it? No way, TJ. You're not going to do this again, okay? Do what? Come in here, make a few jokes, lighten the tension, then talk some sense into me while sharing a very fitting yet topical Bible story that correlates to the situation I'm currently in and once again leads me to saying the big idea, therefore bringing us full circle and completing this week's video in a very timely and wholesome fashion. All right, all right, you got me, because that's exactly what I was going to do. Now that's what I thought, so if you don't mind, I'm going to be practicing my slap. You know, Carl, I think we should talk about the Ten Commandments. The rules God gave us? 
I don't know, TJ. I think the next thing I'm gonna do after I break the steering wheel in half is break some rules. Mama. Ooh. Did that hurt? Psst. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, it did. All right, all right. Well, let's take a break from well, whatever you're doing, and let's talk about something that's pretty important. All right, so what commandments? Well, open up your Bible to Exodus 20. Now, which ones have we talked about so far? One through four. Put God first, worship only God, respect God's name, and rest on God's day. You're absolutely right, man. So today, let's talk about the fifth, sixth, and seventh commandment. All right, what about them? Well, let's look at them. Honor your father and mother. Do not murder. And do not commit adultery. I think I got those covered. So that means I win, right? No, no winning today. But all of those have to do with what? Not lying, corn, maybe water balloons. I don't know. I'm lost. Honoring and loving people. All three of those commandments come down to one thing. Love. Okay, but doesn't it count if instead of a hug with both my arms, I hug my brother with my open hand on his face? <laughs> no. That doesn't count as love. But what if I love doing it? <laughs> That's not the same. You see, when God gave Moses those commandments, they were meant to be taken very seriously. And God gives us those commandments and others because God loves us. And we should take that love and show that same love to other people. Even my brother? Especially your brother, man. Fine, I'll do it. But just because you said so. No, don't do that. What? First you tell me to love my family, then not to? Come on, man. No, definitely love and honor your family. But don't do it because I said so. Do it because that's what God expects of us. And also because God loved us first. You know what? That's a good point. I know it's going to be hard. But Carl, I think you can do it. I hope so. I guess I should be thanking you for reminding me that we obey God by loving our families. Hey, Carl. What's up, TJ? I think you just... Did I just say the big idea? I think you did, buddy. <sighs> I knew this was going to happen. Today's big idea is we obey God by loving our family. That's right. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. We, we obey, obey God, God by, by loving our family. Our family. Yes, yes, yes. Congratulations. Did it. Good job. So Carl, how are you feeling now? Well, my face is still sore, but I feel a lot better. What? What is it? It's... it's my brother. Oh no, did he say something mean? No, he said sorry. And he told me that he thinks my sweaters are pretty cool. That's cool, man. <laughs> it's so nice. He didn't have to say that. I am so happy now. Oh, okay. All right, man. All right. Let it out. Let it out. <laughs> you going to be okay? Oh, oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> okay, kids. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> there, there, Carl. There, there. Okay. All right. Wipe your, wipe your face, Carl. Wipe your face. <laughs> Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. Remember, our big idea is that when we love our families, we are obeying God. When we uh, listen to our parents, when we don't hurt anybody in our families, and when our parents stay in love, that is how our families work best, the way that God wants them to do, uh, the way that God wants them to, to work out. And so all of those are ways that we can honor God, is by listening to our parents, not hurting anybody, and when our parents stay in love. All of those are pleasing to God. You know what else is pleasing to God? When we listen to God's word, the Bible, and so we've been working on a memory verse. Let's do that together now. Luke 10, 27. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. 
All right, I hope your memory verse is going well, that you're saying it, that you're using the hand motions to help you remember it well. And before we go, I wanna do one last thing together. I've got a short video. I know October is when we have Halloween. And so I actually found a video of a couple of monsters, they're not scary, a couple of monsters singing a song that helps us remember the Ten Commandments. So let's go ahead and check that out together. Oh look, the monsters are here. Come on in guys. Kids, you remember Frankenstein? Count Dracula? Come on kids. Y'all are just in time. <laughs> Ten Commandments, here we go. before me too. Don't bow to man-made things. I'm gonna sing three. Don't misuse God's name. Four. Don't forget the Sabbath. Make it a habit. Five. Honor your parents, Clarence. Six. Do not kill. It's God's will, Jill. And keep seven. Don't commit adultery. Eight. Take it, Frankie. The Ten Commandments No one can keep them all Ten Commandments Even on your best behavior Ten Commandments No one can keep them all Ten Commandments And that's why we need a savior Alright, kids, you ready? Yeah. Remember, we're just counting to ten one, have no other gods before me Two, don't bow to man-made things I'm gonna sing three, don't misuse God's name Four, don't forget the Sabbath, make it a habit Five, honor your parents, Clarence Six, do not kill, it's God's will, Jill And keep seven, don't commit adultery Eight, take it, Frankie and the Count What is covered? I want to stop doing it. The Ten Commandments. No one can keep them all. Ten Commandments. Even on your best behavior. Ten Commandments. No one can keep them all. Ten Commandments. And that's why we need a savior. The Ten Commandments. No one can keep them all. Ten Commandments. Even on your best behavior Ten Commandments No one can keep them all Ten Commandments hmm. And that's why we need a savior Mr. Count Dracula, sir? Yes, yeah, small person Coveting is wanting something that's not for you Just be grateful for what you have Oh, so be grateful for my shiny black cape yeah. And do not covet, say Frankenstein's sweet new monster mobile. Have you seen it? Oh, it is something special. I want to take it for a test drive. Do not steal. <laughs> All right, friends, that is it for today. I know we've had a lot of fun. I hope that you will honor God by honoring your families this week, and I will see you next Sunday. But until then, keep your rooms clean, keep eating your vegetables, and keep pointing to Jesus. Bye, friends.